all students if you are really into maths or if you want that your maths should be strong especially the definite integration then i'm taking a cluster of questions uh, you can see that there are four or five questions and you'll be surprised they all will lead to a same question which we have already posted and many people have seen that we have also posted the link in the description box for that question which is 0 to pi by 2 log sine x but why all these questions they look different all the way but why they are leading to 0 to pi by 2 log sine x probably I'll take two or three questions and rest of the questions can can be completed by you so I'm now taking 0 to 1 log x dx upon under root of 1 minus x square I'm now taking If you have done integration, indefinite integration, and if you have a little sound in that, then you can go by hidden substitution and you can simply put sine inverse x as t. But those who are like developing, those who are gradually increasing their level in integration, they can put x is equal to sine theta, which is one and the same thing. You can either put sine inverse of x is equal to theta or x is equal to sine theta. So dx will be cos theta d theta and you have to also change the limits. Upper limit is x is equal to 1. So if sine theta is 1 then theta is uh, pi by 2 the principal value. Then I'm taking the lower limit. Lower limit is 0. So if sine theta is 0 then theta is uh, 0. So now after changing the limits the question turns to 0 to pi by 2 log sine theta cos theta d theta and the denominator is under root of 1 minus sine square theta and that will turn to cos square theta and in the first quadrant all the ratios are positive so we will be taking the positive root this is 0 to pi by 2 log sine theta cos theta divided by cos theta because under root of 1 minus sine square theta is cos theta d theta you can see that this gets cut so we are left with 0 to pi by 2 log sine theta d theta I'm, I'm, and i'm talking about this i'm not solving this because we've already posted the link you can also change the variable and this question will be back onto the original variable this is possible only in case of definite integration so now i'm taking one more question if you remember uh, I'm, I'm taking uh, a question which was zero to infinity log one x plus 1 by x dx upon 1 plus x squared. Once again, if you are good at definite integration, you can put tan inverse of x is equal to theta and directly uh, you can get dx upon 1 plus x squared. But if you are not, then there is no problem at all. You can put x is equal to tan theta and dx turns to secant square theta d theta and with the effect now we need to change the limits also the upper limit turns to when you put x is equal to infinity then this is tan theta which is equal to infinity so the limiting case will be pi by 2 <coughs> lower limit turns to when x is 0 tan theta is 0 so the principal value will be 0 so uh, so you can see that it is 0 to pi by 2 log tan theta plus 1 upon tan theta the respect is secant square theta d theta and the denominator is 1 plus tan square theta which is also secant square theta so this part will be cancelled because this is secant square theta upon secant square theta and you can see that uh, we are now left with 0 to pi by 2 log tan theta plus cot theta now you have two options either you break cot to you can leave a cot as 1 by tan and you can take the LCM or you can break this into sine upon cos after you break this into sine by cos
you take the LCM what is sine square theta plus cos square theta that is 1 now we all know the log 1 by m is minus log m so we can use this and then this question will be no do not multiply and divide by 2 because it seems easier but you will be in big mess instead apply log mn which is log m plus log n and now you can see that you are getting the visions of 0 to pi by 2 log sine x you can apply uh, 0 to a f x dx which is uh, 0 to a f of a minus x dx and with this this log cos theta d theta 0 to pi by 2 will also turn to log sine theta d theta and that way you will be getting log sine theta you do not apply the property right now plus when you apply 0 to a in this part this is also log sine theta d theta and now it will be easier because this is two times 0 to pi by 2 log sine theta d theta and you can now proceed with with the same question and uh, for inferences you can write the direct answer this is if you remember it is minus pi by 2 log 2 so your answer will simply be pi log 2 okay now i'm taking one more and the rest of the questions you will try and please uh, do thumbs up because these are like a big cluster of questions and they can really increase your level so i'm now taking uh, another question Now, you are thinking of applying y parts. Remember, this is an elliptical integration. x cortex directly in case of indefinite is not possible. But because this is definite, we apply y parts. First function x as it is. Integration of cortex is log mod sine x. But since this is the first quadrant, you can only write log sine x. You put the limits minus the whole integration of derivative of x is 1 into the integration of cortex is log sine x now what will happen to this now we put upper limit and we put lower limit but remember when we put lower limit it is zero plus that is it is h goes to zero it is 0 plus h where h goes to 0 and this is the same question I'm talking about minus 0 to pi by 2 log sine x and once again you need to in exam you need to fully solve this and now what is sine pi by 2 sine pi by 2 is 1 but log 1 is 0 so this part is 0 now this x is uh, 0 and this is a limiting case this is now becoming 0 but this is not right now 0 this is not exactly 0 right now. This is becoming 0 and this is exactly 0. So the answer is 0. So you are now only left with minus pi by 2 log sine x and you can proceed that and the answer will be minus of minus pi by 2 log 2 which is which is pi by 2 log 2. So you can see that this is a, a big family and uh, you can say that the head of the family is 0 to pi by 2 log sine x so keep practicing questions do subscribe the channel tell others to thank you very much